Hi, my fellow Aquarians. Welcome to your February 2019 tarot reading for the month. Um, I am Tawny Michelle. If you are new to my channel, I will do uh, weekly live readings as well. Um, but these are like the monthly readings. These are going to have the general theme for the month and you should probably already relate to them because I am going to include like some things that are probably already currently happening or recently happened to, you know, because that explains the energy going into the rest of the month for you guys. Um, I am an Aquarius moon, so I get it. Uh, but yeah, so let's see what's going on with you guys. I am going to do a bonus reading to this reading where I clarify so much more over on my Patreon. All that information is linked down below. Um, you can sign up for $5 a month and get my bonus readings every month, or you can sign up for $1 and get them every other month. So, um, I am probably gonna use gonna start doing those like on a different platform where you can just pay one time and get the bonus reading I mean you could pay five dollars get the bonus reading for this month and then unsubscribe for next month if you wanted to I guess but yeah anyway so happy birthday Aquarius so I have three different decks here that I'm thinking about using um I just got the uh vice versa tarot which I've been obsessing over for a while. I finally got it. I've been playing with it on and off. And um, I'm debating on using that and the Before Tarot um, or just the regular White Rider Waite Smith. For some reason, I am being drawn to the regular Rider Waite Smith um, just to kind of pick up on your guys' general energy for the month so you just got the high priestess the four of pentacles the two of pentacles and the six of pentacles reversed popping out right away so how i normally do these videos is i kind of tell you guys what your month is going to be like astrology wise um and this month for you aquarius is going to awaken your Aquarius nature, not just because it's your birthday month. Um, it's a little more than that. Let me turn the lighting up here. It's a little more than that. Um, because of a lot of the astrology going on, um, I did take notes that you will see me looking over at, um, just on the different aspects and things I wanted to explain to you guys. So, this month, more than ever, it is time for you to kind of like awaken your soul again and rise from the ashes because you guys have went through hell um, the last few years um, with the south node in your sign. And really, I don't think you guys have been normal for a long time, probably like eight to ten years now. And you guys haven't really gotten to be your true Aquarian selves. And this is the month that is going to reawaken your old self, bring you back into it. Um, <clears throat> if you've made it, like if you are having relationship issues, the relationship sector of your life, um, the relationship, if you're still in the relationship, it should be good, honestly, because if you've made it through the south node being in your sign, the north node being in your opposite sign of Leo um, up until a couple months ago, for and it was like that for 18 months, then, I mean, it's probably a pretty good relationship because those, the nodes being in your guys' signs really tested your relationship sector of your life. So if you're still good, then you're good. <laughs> Um, I feel like it's so dark. So, um, the solar eclipse in Leo, it was the last in Leo for a while. It just happened in your seventh house of relationships again. So whatever needed to be cleaned up from the last like two years is finally being cleaned up or was just cleaned up. Um, and 
And now it is time for you to be idealistic. It is time for you to start changing the world like you guys do and go back to being your humanitarian selves. Um, Capricorn um, is your 12th house. And it may feel like, you know, someone is breathing down your neck constantly with all of this energy and Capricorn right behind you. You may feel a little bit like you can't trust anybody. Um, but bet that this month people are going to want to be around you. They are going to be attracted, attracted to you. Um, you are going to be the center of attention. This month, um, with the new moon in your sign on the 4th, is going to be about you. It's going to be about new beginnings, new paths, um, new ideas that may come up that may make you a lot of money, new passions, etc. Um, <clears throat> February 3rd, Venus is... Uh, going into Capricorn, which will be in your 12th house as well. So you may be working on some things or there may be some secret love things going on around that time. Um, this may also spark your interest in helping others even more this month. Um, you may get a lot of joy out of that. It may bring a huge sense uh, of joy to you. So what else? Um, embrace your quirkiness. Embrace your authenticity. Embrace yourselves this month, Aquarius. Because like I said, now is the time to come out of the darkness and be you again. Um, <clears throat> towards the end of the month, with the sun moving into Pisces, this is going to focus more on your money, your values, etc. We'll talk about that in March's uh, monthly reading videos. Um, you may also be going through some home life stuff towards the middle and end of the month. You may be moving, you may be re like renovating, uh, just something to do with your home life. You could just be decorating. Um, and there may be some truths coming out because we all know that you guys like to fight for the truth. Um, don't get lost in fighting for the truth though and remember why you're fighting for it to begin with. And don't lose yourself trying to get to the bottom of things because you're not always going to get the why of every situation. Um, good energy is going to be here for financial stuff, um, for success financially through projects, goals, um, and it looks really good. This month, it is time to get your socializing back on, get your networking back on, and go on with your bad self again, Aquarius. So, so, like I said, these four cards jumped out. The High Priestess, the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and then the Six of Pentacles reversed. So, what I am seeing here is that you are almost still in hiding in a way right now. Obviously, you know, you, yeah, it's your season, but you may not be feeling the, um, the fire in your soul just yet coming. You may not be feeling, um, that water drenching your soul that is bringing you up from the depths in which you've been in for the last several years. Uh, you may not feel your old self creeping back up on you just yet, but it is coming. Um, it is coming. And you may not want to let go of some things that have been kind of like on your mind that you have been kind of juggling back and forth. Um, you may kind of still be holding on to some kind of thing, financial thing, or some project or money, just something to do with the physical, physical realm. Um, 
with the six of pentacles here reversed, I think that you're probably not really in the humanitarian mood just yet. You could be dealing with a Leo. We will get more clarity on that. Um, the bottom of the deck is the five of cups. So we'll go ahead and take that with the Leo. Um, there may be a Leo that is possibly walking away, um, or it could be a water sign or a Leo that you are kind of ready to give up on. Um, like I was saying, with the Six of Pentacles reversed, you feel like you may not have nothing to give right now. Or you may feel that you're not ready to be your humanitarian self just yet. Uh, you're still balancing. You're literally in a balancing act whether you should hang on or let go. Um, but I feel like you're leaning towards more of hanging on because this is reversed. Okay, so um, there may be a Leo that, that either you walked away from and they are missing you. Um, they may come back around. Um, if they walked away, they are missing you. If you walked away, you are missing them. One of the two. They may come back around. Um, they may try to apologize for whatever they did. Um, one of the two. Someone did something to someone. Um, that is pretty much what I'm seeing. So whoever needed that message, it will get to. There's something to do with a Leo and it's looking like there's some hard emotions involved. So now we are going to go into the past a little bit and just see what's going on there. We're gonna go back into Capricorn season. Um, it could even show things that happened a year ago or a few years ago. Never really know what it's going to show. So we shall see. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords. And then we have the Tower. Okay. So yeah, it looks like before... Oh, and then we have the Star at the bottom of the deck take that. So it looks like uh, in the past at some point there was some kind of message that possibly came in or something to do with an air sign. Um, I'm getting a sense that this person may have been a little cocky or this could be you. Uh, maybe you got a little bit, I mean, because you're coming up here too as well. Maybe you got a little bit cocky um, and before it all fell down, before things happened. I um, mean, as you can see in this card, uh, people are like walking towards the tower. So I feel like before it all fell down, like people were definitely um, trying to help you, um, there may have been a sense of someone being cocky if it wasn't you or somebody else getting the success that you felt like you deserved or you not getting the success you felt that you deserved for something that you did, something that you built, something that you worked really hard at, um, and something that you really loved, something that you, not that you really, I guess, loved, but something that you really wished for. Um, I mean, there's also fire energy here. So Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Um, yeah, that is pretty much what I am seeing with that.
if this has anything to do with this Leo or fire sign. Um, I'm kind of getting a water vibe here too. It could also be air, I guess. Then I definitely feel like something happened. Something definitely happened that like shook shit up and it took you a while to rebuild yourself. You may still be rebuilding yourself. It's taking you a while to like really process what happened and really uh, look at your part in certain situations. And maybe you are being a little bit too hard on yourself about things that have happened in the past possibly. Um, We will get more clarity. You know, with the Page of Swords here, this could also be an instance of you fighting too hard for the truth and not getting rewarded. Ah, not getting rewarded like you thought you should. Um, Either someone came in and stole some kind of like victory or success from you that you desperately wanted or um, the three of wands. Okay. Or you had to kind of tear things down like you tore things down to build things back up and you were rewarded for it, but you're still kind of like reflecting on the situation and don't really know how to feel about it. And then we have the five of cups here at the bottom as well. Um, you just kind of feeling four of swords under that and the devil. We'll stop there. <laughs> um, yeah, it seems like you were just kind of reflecting, like you were going through some kind of recovery for, from something. Um, you may still be resentful at either yourself or someone else for whatever the situation is. I hope I'm making sense. I feel like I'm getting a little weird here. But you may still be resentful for to towards someone for something that they did um and i feel that the cards are asking you to reflect on this energy before moving forward to be able to embrace the past and look at it as your greatest asset because um pretty much holding on to it and not letting it go and being resentful at people is holding you back. Um, being trapped in your emotions on what you wish you could have done differently and how it all worked out, etc., etc., is only keeping you still. And right now, we need you guys to be able to move on from this situation. We need you guys to be able to learn the lesson and help out people, help teach people things. Um, this could also be a Taurus in your life currently or coming into your life possibly um that is going to help show you things that may help you look at the past um if it's not a taurus then i feel like this card is seeing that through spirituality through uh tarot readings through um astrology or some kind of other spirituality you need to be able to look at this and grow from it and you need to be able to be that helping hand during your season that people are going to need and that people 
are going to look up to because Aquarius, whether you like it or not, you are the shaker. I mean, you are here to shake things up, to get things going. The tower is Uranus energy, which is your ruling planet. So either way, you are here to do what others can't. You are here to be the rebel. You are here to rebel against society, and that's exactly what this is saying. The Five of Wands and the Hierophant. So, good. Awesome. Um, I think that you may start coming into that energy soon if you are not already feeling it. It seems like some of you are still caught up in like the mystery of the thing. The mystery of whatever was and why it all happened, etc, etc. But I think with the High Priestess, you already know and you need to be able to move forward and not keep clinging to why it all happened and which, which one do I choose? How do I get there? I mean, there's definitely a lot of indecision going on here. You have the Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords is at the bottom of the deck with the uh, Seven of Cups. A lot of indecision going on here about something. Like I said, if this is relationship wise, if you are still with somebody and you know that it's not completely, utterly toxic for you, like if it's not making you happy anymore, you need to let it go if you haven't already. But I feel like most of the skin that's needed to be shed from your relationship life was just shed on that last Leo solar eclipse. Um, if there's still some problems, but you have made it through, you're good. You have nothing to worry about. Um, I'm not really seeing a lot of significant signifiers that there is going to be new love in store for you this month, but astrology wise, that's definitely an option. Um, you may be trying to choose uh, choose between something to do with a Libra or a water sign um, eventually this month. Make sure that you always come back and watch these towards the end of the month if they don't resonate right away. That way uh, you may be able to see if they resonate more. So um, really quick before we end the video, I'm going to use the uh, Vice Versa Tarot just to see if anything else comes out to see what it has to say. I also want to clarify, I think we have everything good with the uh, Before Tarot for your past situation. I think I understand that pretty well. I think for your general energy, uh, with the kind of going back and forth thing, uh, juggling like two physical things, um, either hanging on and pretty much staying in the darkness is intuitively what I'm getting from that or coming out of your shell and being your humanitarian self. Um, I think that is your general energy and I think that the energy with this Leo um, we may clarify that and then I think we're going to clarify all this like decision energy that you guys have going on with the vice versa tarot. So let's do it. Oh, okay. So we have the Empress and the seven of swords. So with the Leo and the Five of Cups energy. I think definitely this could have something to do with uh, a relationship. Um, it seems like their betrayal, whatever it was to you, you feel that it was deep. Um, or you may not know completely about their betrayal. It may be hidden from you. 
um, because this way he is caught. This way he is not caught. So whatever their betrayal to you was may still be hidden from you. Um, you may not know it just yet and it may be coming to the surface or it may have recently came to the surface and you didn't know about it and you're kind of questioning what to do and that could be all of this decision what do i do type of energy um like i said it could also be a water sign um or an air sign and it may just have to do with strength of some sort uh, to get through the situation. It's required a lot of strength, um, a lot of kind of taming yourself maybe. Um, I'm kind of seeing almost like a wanting to cling to and hold on to this relationship, whatever it is. Um, so let's see. Okay. So we have the full and the uh, Queen of Cups. So I think that there's a chance. I think that this person can be forgiven. Um, there may be some kind of apology coming from this person or you may be issuing the apology yourself if you're cross watching for an Aquarius especially if you're a Leo or if you're just an Aquarius with Leo in your chart heavy water energy here I'm getting um or Leo like I said um maybe even fire energy altogether. I'm kind of seeing some Aries possibly with the full. Um, so I definitely think there's a chance. It just may not be seen just yet because like this is what the full normally is like in this deck. This is the full um, that you're getting that came out. So definitely the possibility of forgiveness and like I said if you've already made it through the last two years I think that is worth a shot to forgive them or for them to forgive you if you're cross watching um and I think that that may be what all of this decision is about because we have the air energy here and then the water energy here um But we will check to make sure with the vice versa tarot. Why is the seven of cups and the two of swords there? A lot of work energy, Aquarius. If you've been working on something for a while, I think that you're going to finally have success with it towards the end of this month a lot of manifestation energy you've been doing a lot of work it's almost like you've been throwing yourself into work and you may have gotten a little bit selfish and I don't mean to be mean when I say that I'm just being real that's what I see oh too many cards, too many cards. Here. Okay, so the Ten of Wands. Okay, so with this side of the Ten of Wands, this is the side you got, this is the other side. So the other side, you know, it's pretty much like warning you to not let yourself turn into stone because your burden is so heavy and you won't let anybody else kind of help you with that burden. Here there is still a chance for someone to help you. 
So with the Ten of Wands here, I think whatever decision you're trying to make or whatever choice you're trying to decide on um, is very heavy. And there is somebody that can help you do this. You don't have to do this on your own, whatever this is. It may almost be like unnecessary. Like the whatever decision that you are going back and forth about may almost be unnecessary. Um, there may be somebody that you can talk to that will unleash some different possibility for you with this decision, if that makes sense. Um, okay, so the Emperor. Could have something to do with possibly an Aries. Um, I personally think that whatever this is, I feel like both of you feel like the other one is like, I feel like both of you feel like you are doing all of the work, um, possibly. Um, both of you feel like you're doing all the work and the other one isn't, almost, in a way. Um, and I think both of you need to communicate this. I think both of you need to sit down and talk about this and have a conversation about it and do the work equally. Um, okay, so the Queen of Swords reversed and the Two of Wands. It's not reversed, but the back of the Queen of Swords and the Two of Wands. So, <laughs> This may not be as easy of a situation. This is getting a little bit complicated, especially with the back of the Queen of Swords. Um, she is loyal to the bone, but if you cross her, it's not good. Um, I feel like you could be stuck in between an air sign or an Aries um, or just a possible fire sign, maybe even an earth sign. Um, but I mainly feel that you feel that you have done everything and I feel like you don't, you don't think that you have anything to apologize for and they feel like they have done everything and they don't think that there's anything to apologize for. Um, but really I think it may be a little bit more complicated than working this out with a quick uh, talk with quick communicating um, you may have to go a little bit deeper than that and really figure out what the hell is going on and why it is going on etc um, I think by the end of the month you will know um, if things are kind of like meant to work out or not with this person um, but right now it just looks like you both do not want to forgive each other at all. Um, oh, yeah, there are some kind of secrets going on, some kind of truth not being told, some kind of attachment here. It looks like forgiveness with this situation is just not going to, like, I just, I don't think that you guys are going to see each other's sides. Whatever the situation is, it could be a friendship, a brother, a sister, a parent, um, a relationship. I'm getting more relationship vibes with the Leo or possible 
I mean, there's another possible Aries up here. So I'm not really sure if it's the same person. I'm kind of getting separate vibes because the first situation with the Leo or possible Aries or earth sign or even water sign, um, seems like there can be some kind of, uh, mending, but this other situation, not so much. So Hey Aquarius, so I know you can't really see everything. I couldn't fit it all. I drew a lot of cards. So these are your cards pretty much. Um, I am noticing something here different. Uh, there could have been a point of recovery to do with uh, some kind of addiction um, or resentment or codependency because with the devil and the four of swords here, I'm seeing some kind of recovery from something. Um, and then with the five of cups here, it's almost like you were emotionally broken. Um, this could have something to, to do with like institutions, um, hospitals, jails, possibly. This is in your past, um, by the way, so don't worry. <laughs> um, yeah, and then just, I mean, this month you are here to help shake things up, help to get us back into the humanity swing of things and to rebel against society and do what you guys do best. Um, as you can see, there's a really tough situation going on here between you and someone and both of you almost are refusing. If anything, uh, you may be refusing a little bit more to see the other person's side and that is what your issue is and whatever relationship or situation this is um and then these two cards came out right the end at the end of page of cups and the ace of swords so there's some kind of secret and truth that needs to come out that i believe will either come out the end of this month and the Pisces season most likely um but the situation up here with the Leo or the possible water sign the possible earth sign water sign I mean even fire sign Aries I mean we have air I mean we have all the signs here but I'm getting major like Leo Virgo water and Aries like those are the main signs that I'm getting this situation looks like it can be reconciled this situation down here looks a little rough um, I'm not sure if this is coming up as a past energy to the same situation if it is an Aries um, it looks like it's gotten a little bit harder to solve whatever it is. So we are going to clarify all of this in your guys's bonus reading. Like I said, all the information for that will be on in the description. It is going to be over on my Patreon. Sometimes the bonus readings, um, don't come out until like a day or two after these readings on YouTube because they take so long to upload, etc. So, um, yeah. Anyways, you guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next month. Bye.